So you might identify that your battery is flat. With the engine running, the voltage should be at least 13 and a half volts on your controller. If that's not the case, you obviously need to identify the problem. You need to start by making sure the engine's running of your vehicle. You then need to go to the bonnet of the vehicle or the battery, wherever the battery is located within your vehicle. In this case, it's in the bonnet. And identify in the bonnet, there's a fuse box. This is fitted by ourselves. This fuse box is a split charge relay fuse. There's a little clip on one side. All you need to do is clip it up and open it. This is the split charge relay fuse. If that's blown, there'll be a distinct break in the fuse. If that's the case, you need to replace it. That's, it. that's where you found your problem. Once you replace the fuse, it should cure the problem. However, if that doesn't cure the problem, you will need a multimeter to investigate further. With your multimeter, you need to set it on a 20 volt setting. In this case, 20 volts. You then need to take the two probes and ensure that your alternator is delivering a decent charge. So holding the positive on the positive point of the battery and the negative on a decent negative connection, you should get a positive reading. In this case, 14, point 14 volts, which is fantastic. So that's a positive charge to your battery. So make sure that that is reaching your battery in the back of your van. So follow the, follow the cable. The cable comes out of the fuse box and goes onto the fuse. Using the, using the probe, ensure that that voltage is held all the way down the cable. So first connection, and there we have a break. So there's obviously an issue between the fuse box and the fuse. You need to do a repair. Either you need to tighten the bolt up or replace that connection. Once you've done the repair, you can trace it on down. Now we're getting a, a solid 14 volts. Switch across to the second connection. There we have another 14 volts. Then put it on the actual terminal connection which connects to the cable. We have 14 volts. That means all the connections in the bonnet are sound. You can do this as you work your way down until you find a break in the connection and you don't have any voltage then you know that's where the issue is. Once that's repaired, your system should be up and running. So here we are in the, in the rear of the vehicle now with the battery system. Once you've taken the lid off, you should expose all your wires. Here we have the leisure battery, which controls the system and powers the system. And what you identify is a couple of fuse boxes. And then you have some down here as well. If you identify the black cable, which is what the cable which we wrap, and there is another fuse box. That is your second split charge relay fuse. So once again, there's a spare fuse there. Open up the fuse box and investigate. Is it complete? If it's complete, it should be sound. If, if it's blown in the middle, then you need to replace it. If you follow that on the positive cable going back down, it should go down to your relay. Now your relay is located down the bottom here. This red cable coming in on this side is your positive in from the vehicle. The power coming out from this side is a positive charge going out to your leisure battery to charge your leisure battery. And then this black cable here is the earth cable to complete the circuit. So going back to your multimeter. <clears throat> if you were to hold the black probe on the negative point of the battery, and then just simply take your positive and check, do you have voltage coming in from the engine? In this case, we've got 13.7. So in that case, we were at 14.1, now we're at 13.7. We've lost a small amount of current down the cable. That's usual because of the length of cable this could be. It could be up to six meters running from the front of the vehicle to the rear of the vehicle. Move across to the second terminal. This is the power out. This should show also a positive. So now we're showing 13.7. That means the power is actually going through the relay, out of the relay, the relay is connecting, and the battery should be receiving a positive charge. This you can check with your multimeter, or you can use it with your controller by switching your controller on and onto the voltage setting, which will then give you the voltage setting. If at any point you lose that voltage, so say you were, it was lost on the relay, so you had 14 volts going into the relay, but nothing coming out, that signifies either a loose connection on your earth, so this cable could be loose, 
or signifies the relay itself needs replacing. It would be advisable to get a qualified electrician or a competent person to replace it for you.